Wanting retro crafts from the past, it's never too late. Here's a project just for you, the Bead Cassette Mixtape. The Bead Mixtape is a classic retro design that looks fine, a simple creation you'll be able to make in no time. These iconic cassette tapes are nearly perfect, as they do look great. It's a project that'll be fast, fun, and easy to make. Have that nostalgic feeling last with these blasts from the past. So get ready for this tutorial to satisfy your creative needs. Feel free to give this video a like and enjoy this episode of Turbo Beats. Here's a list of everything you need to make the beat cassette mixtape. Before starting this project, I'm just letting you know that I'm using S. Getty Strings Crafting Lace made by Pepero. It's a string that's packaged in a 50 yard spool. It's a round plastic lace that has a bit of flexibility to it and it works great. So with that being said, I'm just keeping you informed and letting you know that this is a personal choice. This is not a sponsored video. To make the bead mixtape, we'll start out by using the straw technique. What we'll do is we'll take a straw and we'll split that straw down in the center by cutting it with scissors. So just watch close as I carefully cut the straw. Splitting the straw down the center will make it easier to add beads to it. Basically, what we're doing is we're using the straw as a stabilizer, which will keep the beads straight, aligned, and in place. With that straw split down the center, we're ready to add beads to it. So let's go ahead and add 11 black beads to that straw. As you can see, as I've mentioned before, because the straw split down the center, it's a lot easier to add beads to the straw. As a quick reminder, remember we're adding 11 black beads to that straw. So just continue watching as I add these beads to the straw. Once you have those 11 beads on the straw, you'll carefully cut off the end of that straw, keeping it from showing to the sides. As you can see, the beads are all together in a tight formation with the straw hidden within. So from here, we're ready to add these beads to the string. So what you'll need is 7 feet of string, then you'll add the stabilized row of beads to the string as you see here. When you have those beads on the string, you'll match up both ends of string, pushing those beads toward the center of that string. This will ensure that the beads are in the middle of the string. This will also be the first row of the pattern. Be sure that this row of beads stay in the center of the string, so that this way you'll have an equal amount of string to use on each side to create additional rows. With the first row finished, creating the next row is just as simple. Again, we'll be using the straw technique, so we'll take a straw that's been split down the center, then we'll add those beads to that straw. We'll add 11 beads in this particular order. As you can see, I've added the beads to that straw and also cut off the ends, keeping that straw from showing to the sides. From here, we'll take one end of the string and add those beads to that string. Now that we have those beads on the string, we're gonna take our other end of string and we're gonna run it through those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Let me be sure to mention, when running the string through these beads, it may take a bit of effort as the string is squeezing through a tight space, so just be patient and take your time as it may take more time to get that string through these beads. So once you get that string through those beads, you should have an end of string coming out of each side of those beads, as you see here. Then, you'll be able to pull both ends of the string evenly until you've reached the top, bringing all of those beads together. As you can see, this is how you create a row for this pattern. You'll continue using the same steps when creating additional rows. As we've done before, we'll add 11 beads to that straw with the ends cut off, keeping that straw hidden within those beads. Then, we'll take one end of the string and add those beads to that string. Just like we've done before, when you have those beads on the string, you'll take your other end of string and run it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. As I've mentioned before, since it may be a bit tougher to get the string through the beads, here's a quick tip. Since one end of the string is through those beads and we're trying to push the other end of string through, continue pushing that string as far as it'll go, then you can pull the other end of string a little bit in that same direction and the other end of string should follow, just like this. Once that string is through those beads with each end coming out of the sides, you'll pull both ends of string evenly until you've reached the top, bringing all those beads together. So just continue the same steps, creating additional rows, following the pattern as seen at the top of the screen.
As a solid reminder, remember to take your time when assembling each row of this pattern, being sure that you follow and place the beads in the correct order as shown at the top of this video, that way the beaded image will look exactly as it should. Also remember to pull the string evenly on both sides to ensure that you have the same amount of string to use on each end. Not to forget that there's a straw hidden in between the rows of beads that keep these beads aligned in place and in a tight formation. Watching this visual reference, you'll see that this pattern should be easy to create with its simple design of beaded rows that create the image of the cassette mixtape. As you can see, the black and clear beads will act as an outline to give the mixtape a defined shape, with the white beads to fill in and the other colors added for creative taste. So with this just being an example, feel free to use this as a template or guide as there are always different colors and combinations that you can make for your creation. With that being said, Leave a comment below letting me know what color combinations you find great or choose to use for your mixtape, and also what kinds of music you enjoy listening to as well. Once you finish the 14th and final row, you'll tie off each end of string with a knot to lock all of those beads into place. When tying your string together, be sure that your knot is tied nice and secure to ensure that everything stays together. With this visual reference, you should see that tying the knot should be as easy as it seems. And also, when tying the string, feel free to tie the knot as many times as you feel is necessary, as the objective is to have a knot that won't slip through the beads, also keeping those beads locked into place. Again, just be sure that both ends of string are tied off with knots that are solid and secured. Then once you have both ends tied with knots that are secured, you can carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string, and your bead mixtape is now complete. And there you have it. A retro bead design that looks fine that was easy to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. If there's anything you would like to add, requests or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you are new or you just haven't already, don't forget that you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials just like this one. Hoping you'll tune in for the next one to satisfy your creative needs. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching Turbo Beads.